Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing on how to use D2 Arm Picker in DIM to create custom loadouts and how to try to start focusing on creating the better builds for PvE or PV, uh, PvP content for yourself. And uh, this makes it extremely easy and very simple. So first things first, let's jump into D2 Armor Picker real quick. Um, so let's say uh, I'm wanting to make a PvP Hunter build. Um, and as we know, Hunters, we love mobility. And so we're just going to select here um, that I want 100 mobility. And then you're going to start seeing that some options get taken away from me, like 100 resilience and 100 recovery. That doesn't mean we can't reach that stat, but just saying at this point in time, um, I don't have that ability yet. And we'll get to that here in just a second. Let's say the next important stat to me is recovery. So I'll pick 90 recovery. And let's pick another random one like, oh, like I really want strength for some reason, right? So these are my three options that it gives me here. I could uh, make a, uh, just a build with what's selected here with uh, like Gemini Jesters, my Stompies, or my Bombardiers, Bombardiers, excuse me. Um, but there's another section here. Let's say I want to use a specific exotic and let's just go with Gemini Jester, for example. Which is showing for what stats I've selected, this is my only option here. You can have up to multiple pages of options if you have a lot of uh, like gear, specified gear farmed. Um, but when it comes to this section for the armor limitation, don't really worry about this too much. Uh, this was really meant for when armor pieces were like specific to like, oh, this was an arc piece or this was a solar piece because certain mods would only fit on arc or solar. That's no longer a thing in the game, so just uh, disregard that. But here, stat boost selection. This here is where you could say like, uh, I want to run Gemini Jesters on Void, for instance, and I really enjoy running Echo Dilation. It gives me plus 10 mobility, which is great for a hunter. It gives me plus 10 intellect as well. That's great. And also, while crouched, you sneak and gain enhanced radar resolution. So that's something that hunters might really enjoy using. And it would also give me a nice boost in the things that I want. That's great. Uh, next, let's say uh, I'm just looking for a stat boost in my recovery. So I could go here where it shows a plus 10 recovery, Echo of Obscurity. Um, it's a thing that only gives me a stat boost, doesn't really give me much other than that when it comes to PvP, but we'll still select it. And then let's say, um, Echo of Instability, defeating targets with grenades, grants volatile rounds to avoid weapons. Well, let's say that I'm running, I don't know, um, a scatter grenade with, um, um, I think it's star not starvation, but, uh, yeah, yeah, unbinding, avoid grenades, we can target you, pretty much one-shot people if you use that. Uh, so let's say like, oh yeah, you know, I want to use this because I'll be using Void Weapon as well. And if you come up, now you can see all the possibilities that have been created just because I picked some certain things. And now I could run a triple 100 build and it says, hey, this is the one that would give you 100 mobility. You have 103 recovery and you also have 100 strength. And you do see, I do have some wasted stats here. Like I have 18 resilience uh, that plus 8 doesn't do me jack. Um, plus eight in discipline and plus fifty nine uh, and a uh, plus nine in intellect. Uh, but if you click it, it'll tell you what exact pieces you're using. And if it's gold like this, that means those items are masterwork. And um, if we want, we can actually scroll down a little bit further. And here we have advanced settings. And here I would highly suggest this selecting everything that I have selected if it's not already pre-done for you. And here, this is one thing you do probably use very frequently. Let's say that you're low on Ascendant Shards or something, so you're just wanting to see what items are already masterwork that will work for said build you're wanting to create. You can click that, and it will only update this segment here with uh, those things that's already masterwork, so you don't have to worry about adding things to. Um, but let's say that uh, you maybe are a new player, you don't have a lot of things masterwork, so we can deselect that option real quick, and let's um, take off, uh, let's say we're not going to do strength. Let's find something here that's not masterwork. Here, for example, I have a, uh, a chess piece here that isn't masterwork, and you will see here total material cost of how much that's going to cost you to complete this build. So it'd be 15,000 glimmer, 23 legendary shards, three enhancement cores, three enhancement prisms, and one ascendant shard. And that's pretty much just how you go about making your build. So let's say that this is the build I want to run with. I am going to click open loadout and dim. 
and this is if you've linked a d2 armor picker to dim right and when you first make a d2 armor picker account you will link your bungee account to said thing and then you can start messing around with all this but um, once you've connected all these things they work very seamlessly together really no issues at all so here this is where i'm going to customize my loadout for said thing right and so let's say like hey this is gonna be my um we'd call it hey jimmy you know, I don't know something stupid right so here though this is where i can start to be very specific with what i want this build to be so that way when i select it it's instantaneous i don't have to screw around with anything it just pulls exactly what i want so here uh i prefer dead uh, deadfall as a super i like to use gambler's dodge i like to use strafe jump um when it comes to grenades i prefer to do uh let's say uh, for this instance let's use void spike script uh, i like uh, stylish executioner vanishing steps and here if it's if you still have the ability to select things it's saying that hey you still have the ability to select another fragment here and let's just say that we go with uh, melee final blows uh, generate uh, health back for you and we click apply so now all those things are selected for my subclass now i have weapons well what kind of weapons do i want to run let's just pick um, my sniper here, I want a void weapon, so let's pull over. Um, da -da 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 -da. Actually, screw it, let's just do sunshot. And last but not least, we'll select this. And so I got my weapon selected. But if you're, let's say, making a trials build, for instance, and you need to pull over more weapons because you're going to be playing the game based off what the enemy might be running if you're going into like a sweaty team composition or there's like three titan bubbles or something and let's say like yeah i really want to use my sunshot but if there's a titan bubble for that round i want to be able to switch over to let's say my conditional finality and here you will just select a conditional finality which is right here and so that gives you it will pull everything that you're selecting and if i'm running my conditional finality let's say that i want to have my igneous hammer and then I also want to have, let's say, if I was just crazy, uh, let's use uh, my type in as well. And here we'll just select uh, my already masterwork uh, um, cloak here as well. Uh, last but not least, we get into the, the mod section of this here. And so with this, it can be a little finicky from what I've noticed. Um, but when I come to PvP, I, I run very, very standard stuff. Nothing uh, super exciting. So, for instance, uh, since I'm using a uh, Sunshot, I would want uh, Solar Targeting. And I also really like to enjoy to run um, the ability to create um, uh, Solar Siphon for Orbs of Power. Uh, next, I like to throw my grenades faster. Definitely want that. I definitely want to reload faster. And uh, last but not least, I want to... Uh, let's say, where's it at here? Da -da 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 -da. Solar Dexterity, right there. Boom. All right. Uh, obviously, for PvP build, we want um, like an unflinching solar times two. I like to run better already on my legs. And then I also like to run a solar weapon surge for when I do pick up an orbit power when I generate one. Last but not least, we like to run a connect holster so it reloads my stored uh, weapon like my sniper. And I typically run triple bombers. Besides that, uh, let's say if you're making a PvE build for a raid, this is where you will select said uh, raid pieces if those are what you have equipped. So you would pick whatever you, that is that you're looking for. But we select those mods. Uh, everything here is now done, right? So we get the name. We selected our subclass weapons that we want to have pulled over and our armor. Here you can go very specific of what ghost shells that you would like. Uh, you can go even go into what emblems to run, uh, ships, and last but not least, even your uh, sparrow. So, and of course, if you don't have always on time on, you're crazy because it's the fastest sparrow in the game. But since then, we just hit save. And now, uh, at any point in time, let's say that I'm playing the game, doing my thing, and they're like, hey, uh, we need a, we need one more for trials. You want to come in? Yeah, just leave me one second. All you do is you hit apply. And you're going to notice everything will start getting pulled over. And you can hear it in the background, right? Because I have uh, Destiny 2 open. But it's pulling all these things apart. I probably selected more than one mod that probably couldn't be applied here. Uh, we'll see if that's the case because it'll show up red 
in a box and it'll say load out in complete loading it will pull everything that it can but if it can't it'll tell you uh, and mark what that said thing was so it's applying everything got two more mods one more boom all right so successfully loaded it perfect now I can come over to my character and you can see I'm glad this happened actually um, so notice hey I thought I selected a triple build right I should have a hundred mobility here well, okay, well, I have 106 recovery, and that's that's not right. Well, that means you have an artifice, artifice piece on, and sometimes it doesn't change the artifice mod. So here you can see all oh, my cloak. I have an artifice mod here for uh, recovery. I need to apply that to my mobility. And then you see that fixes the issue. But you'll see conditional finality get pulled over, Shepherd's Watch, Sunshot, and all those things are selected. And everything here is exactly as it should be. So that is just kind of like a quick demonstration of what uh, D2 Armor Picker and Dim can do for you. Again, I highly suggest uh, knowing it, getting used to it. Uh, this is Dim for the desktop version. I use this all day, every day. Um, so let's dive into this for just a second because this doesn't. This is not very hard to explain. Um, if I want to select a piece, let's say that hey, I really want this shotgun on my hunter here. All of the psychic equipped i can just double click and it will equip that weapon if i want to transfer a weapon off let's say i don't want this uh, pressurized precision here i can drag that either into my vault or to another character just by clicking and dragging and releasing and it'll pop a little message up there saying hey this is what i'm doing um and again this is just like all my stuff here i can transfer it in between all characters and um there's also the search option right so let's say uh, like hey man i'm looking for i can't remember the name of this weapon i know it's a void weapon so you can start doing like specific commands so i could say is then i use a special abbreviation there void if i can actually spell today and it will mark as you can see this is actually my postmaster i have a frozen orbit and postmaster here but everything highlighted is void, so I can find like a specific weapon that I'm looking for. Uh, you can also type um, name, for instance, and let's do uh, Sunshot, All right? I click and it will find my Sunshot for me right here. And um, that's just the, uh, and you can also come here and it'll give you some pre-selected stuff. You can also use filters for help and it'll give you a list of all the uh, commands that you can use to find smart things. So, you know, is yellow, is purple, is blue, is green, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, source, you know, do I have any Dream City weapons? You know, okay, let's type source and see if that's the case. But other than that, it's very simple, very straightforward. And um, again, something I highly encourage that you guys use more of because it will, uh, for one, when it comes to playing games with your friends, uh, if they got like a specific build that you would really like, so for instance, uh, all my friends all the time, they're like, hey, Kapachi, you have a build, uh, I wanted to use that, you know, send that to me. And all I have to do is click share loadout, you know, and I click uh, this, hit control C, and I can go into like a message board, a forum, or like Facebook Messenger and send that to them. They can click it, it opens up in their dim, they hit save, and then boom like they have the same build that i i'm using and they can utilize that as well um but that's it guys thank you for checking out this video if you like it please like comment and subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me um i have a lot of time in this game and i've done a lot with this game i'm not like a top tier player by any means but i'm definitely a good player i believe um and i would like to share what i know with you guys so other than that, i appreciate it and you have a good one